Are you from the back? I am, yeah, yeah. I thought so. I've go. seen you before. <laughs> Where have you seen us? Um, Brighton. Oh, you've seen us live? Yeah. You've actually seen us? Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to give you a word of advice. You know, for the VIPs that we will get today, they are just like you and me. Only they are just better looking. <laughs> What good is sitting alone in your room? It's escapism. Performing is escapism for me, and it's great. It's so much fun. Life is a cabaret. It's what I love doing, but it's not real. I still live with my ex. How's that working out for you? <laughs> to actually go out and to, to touch people's lives, wow, what a privilege that is. But there is, there's always a downside, isn't there? 40 years I've been a man on an ostrich. So you're in showbiz? Everything's a competition. I like, I like to win. Which don't always bode well for relationships with friends or otherwise. <laughs> this is Brad. Hello. Lead singer <laughs> of pop band The Vamps. His every move is watched over by his 1.6 million followers on Twitter and his loyal fan base, the Vampettes. You step on stage and it's like it all just kind of goes, and then you're, you're like focused. There's just that much distraction, do you know what I mean? There's that much to take in that every, nothing else can fit in your brain for that hour and a half. It's like you're buzzing, you're absolutely buzzing. Brad may have toured with Taylor Swift and McFly, but when the concert's over, he still heads home alone. People have a preconception of what you're going to be like, and they're like, oh, you're in a band. You're one of them. Should I take your jacket, Brad, or um, you want to keep it on? I'll keep it on for now, is that OK? It's never really been an attractive prospect, the going round and being like, I love you. Let me take you to the bar. Thank you very much. Are you all right? I'm a bit nervous, yeah. Are you? But I'm OK, yeah. Oh, my God. I think dates, anyway, are like... Like, dinner is you know, quite a scary thing to me. I haven't been on that many dates, really. Probably been on, like, two or three. So what have you been up to of late? <laughs> the band I'm in's been touring. <laughs> Sorry, forgive my ignorance. What band is... Uh, the Vamps is the name. Oh, you're in The Vamps? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Wicked, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your largest audience to date, then? We played Wembley Stadium. That was like 90,000 people. That's intense, is, man. I'm way more scared going on a date than I am going out in front of a crowd. I always wanted to be a bartender when I was younger. No, I think you got the better end of the deal now. Mm. <laughs> I think I do have a type. Like, I grew up, yeah, my crush was like Eva Longoria. Because my parents, like, my mum used to love Desperate Housewives, and I was like, Eva Longoria. Hoping to make sweet music tonight is 18-year-old estate agent Isabel. She has no idea she's walking into the arms of a bona fide teen heartthrob. Hello, how are you? Hello. <laughs> I do like a boy band look. I was really into One Direction. <laughs> sort of saying Malik, Harry Styles. Good evening. Good evening. What is your name, please? Isabel. Isabel, fantastic. What a smile you have. I like singers. I do find it really attractive. Can I take your jacket? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. If they can play musical instrument as well, I find that also so attractive. Hello. Hello. I'm Brad, nice to meet you. Nice Ma to meet you. Are you OK? Yeah, mm. I'm good, nice thank you. you. What was your name, sorry? Uh, it's Isabel. Isabel, nice yeah. to meet you. Are you OK? I really recognise you. <laughs> are you from the back? I am, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought so. Yeah, I've yeah. seen you before. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you seen us? Um, Brighton. Oh, you've seen us live? Yeah. You've actually seen us? Yeah. Oh, my God. Did you enjoy? Were we yeah, any good? Yeah, really good. That's very weird. That's that is weird. really weird. Were you nervous for this? I was I was, I literally was so nervous for this. Yeah. Because I think it is literally just because you don't know who it is. Yeah. Blind dates don't exist now, do they? Mm, they you don't. Think about but it. I think they should. I think they should. Because, like, you, sh you shouldn't know everything about someone before you meet them. Definitely not. Blind dates. Way to go. The way to go, isn't it? <laughs> mm. You know, in English, you say it's raining cats and dogs. Well, in France, you say il pleut à vache qui pisse. It means it's raining like a cow is pissing. <laughs> Funny, no? <laughs> Showbiz entertainer Bernie is no stranger when it comes to handling birds. Lovely day for it. Well, 40 years ago, Les Dawson saw me doing what I was doing, and he said, you're all right, but what kind of comedy do you like? And I said, well, I love doing visual comedy. He said, well, go out then 
and be a folly star, be a visual comic. Such a pleasure to have you here. Lovely day for it. And yeah. that was it. The ostrich was born. Who's looking after the giraffe? The giraffe? Oh, no, it's been, it's been called a few things. No, not time. the giraffe. It is an ostrich, not an emu or a duck. How are you? All right, yeah. What would you like? I think I'm going to have a soft drink. Orange, passion fruit-ish. I can definitely do that. I've been widowed 15 years. Going to the cinema on your own, you feel like a bit of an oddball. Right, so tell me more about the sort of lady that you're hoping to meet today, then. I just hope that um, we hit it off in terms of humour. A meeting of minds? Yeah, and, and a, a twinkle, just a little spark between us. Hmm. Hoping to be the spark for Bernie's fire is 80-year-old Carol. How are you? All right, Hi, darling. <laughs> Indeed. I'm very young at heart, yeah. You know, I do belly dancing and um, the lady that takes the group, she'll say, and one of my ladies is 80. <laughs> Hello. 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 Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. I'm Bernie, what's your name? Carol. Carol, please join me. Thank you. Does my hair look all right? Because I've been in the rain. You look great. Definitely a day for umbrellas, isn't it? Mm, it is, yeah. I do like to get dressed up when I go anywhere nice. We all do, don't we? As ladies, yeah. Oh, thank you. I've been called high maintenance. Now, what does that mean? I mean, there's me that maintains me, no one else, so I can be high maintenance. Well, Carol, this to a lovely evening. Yes. Yeah, cheers. Pleased lovely to, to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers, Fred. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome, Fred. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Cheers. This is nice. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a really nice restaurant. It is, isn't it? Yeah, like it's a bit posh for me. <laughs> I don't know what a parpadel is. Is it a parpadel? A papadel? That is a pasta. Is it? Is it called papadel? So who are the bands? Um, what's that song that they sing? You don't go too loud. Are they a recent band? Yeah. I listen to Radio 2. <laughs> Radio 2. <laughs> Someone set up an account called Brad Vamps Marry Me. Oh my God. Okay. Bless right? him. Pages and P. Marry me, then that's fine. Please marry me. Will you marry me? Are you allowed to have a girlfriend? We're allowed to have girlfriends, yeah. It's just whether you want like your relationship public or privatised. Hello, you'll never guess who I'm on a date with right now. <laughs> Brad from the Vamps. <laughs> you're fucking I'm not even joking you, really. <laughs> I know, I went to the Vamps last year, it's really awkward. I'm really not into these bad boys and things. I'm not really into that. I'm into a gentleman, like a nice person who's actually going to like properly look after you and be really nice, and that's the sort of thing that I'm looking for. <laughs> Do you ever get like screaming girls after you? Yeah. Do you? There's this one here, just here. It's me. What is about? Oh, wow. <laughs> from Brighton, she just follows us over here. I do feel a bit like a stalker now because I've seen you live. No, so. Okay, don't you shouldn't. <laughs> It's just so hard, like, with the travelling to meet anyone first and foremost and then build something. So I feel bad on the other person cos it's, like, it's so one-sided. It, it does take a massive push on my end as well of, like, trying to make it work. How do you pick the right person, though? Because that so many people are in it for, like, publicity. Exactly. Spot on, as you well. Know. You'd rather wait and get in a relationship with the right person and get in a relationship with the wrong person and then it ends really badly and it messes it up for ages. Because it's quite a superficial world, like, you need to be conscious of it is a very superficial world and people are just there, like, blowing smoke up your ass the majority of the time. So you need to surround yourself with people who you trust and, and I think that's the key to not being too lonely. 
Sorry to interrupt you. Can I get a selfie for me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, have a good night. Okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, superstars, what they like. <laughs> I think I might like lamb stew. Lamb stew? Well, I was going to have that. Two for the price of one. Okay, so. well, can you take the words right out of my mouth? <laughs> right, we'll have the lamb stew deal then, okay? <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Check it's him with the ostrich. Check you see that? Out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Look at him how he's walking. It's like he's almost dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says I look like a raccoon. Do you see it? A little bit, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the eyes, I think. Yeah. I think it's your eyes, yeah, yeah. What do you think you look like? I don't know. Maybe an otter. An otter? <laughs> Have you got any pets? Them. I've got two dogs and a cat at the moment, but I really want a goat. You want a goat? I really want a goat. want a goat. I just love goats. <laughs> I think they're so cool. <laughs> like, you know when they just sit on the mountain, like yeah. sideways? Well, like the beardy ones. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, how are you doing that? <laughs> but I don't know where I'd put it. My mum always says, like, you just know. You really just know. Like, she just knew exactly with my dad straight away. They knew that they were going to be right for each other. I'm really not that hungry. No. Are you? Not that Can't hungry. eat. I'm struggling. Should we just go straight to dessert? Just have dessert instead. It's not in a really hungry yeah. mood. Me mm neither. -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing after this? Nothing. <laughs> What do, you do, what do you do, Carol? Um, I'm retired, of course. Yeah? Yeah. Spend my time retiring. Oh. Do a bit of belly dancing. Belly dancing? I, mean, I really love it. Keep on keeping on. That's it. So I've tried internet dating. Met someone. He was the biggest liar I've ever met in my life. <laughs> so I'm afraid he had to go. Yeah. What do you do? I don't quite know how to describe this, but... I could get Fred to describe it for me. Has Fred got a minute for me, please? Is everything all right? Carol has just asked me what I used to do. Shall we so tell her about the animal, or shall no, we not I say nothing? just do the mime. Are Watch this, ready? Carol. <laughs> you get it? Got the... It looked like an ostrich. I'm not going to give up the day job. No. <laughs> <laughs> 40 years I've been a man on an ostrich. So you're in showbiz? I'm in showbiz, yeah. How did you think it up, what to do? I was a singer. I was, oh. a, I was, I was a boy singer, you see, and I was singing around the clubs. And I met this girl. My whole career, uh, it would not have been there without my wife. Here we are. Here's the two for one. See you, my dear. You. The plates are very hot. She was a rock, really, in my lifestyle and travel and touring. We kind of got each other through the good and the bad times. So, what did you wife die of? Hmm. She was only in her mid to late 50s when she got dementia. Oh. She had that for 12 years and she died when she was 68. It's a cruel illness, isn't it? Oh. It was something that you never ever get used to. You see the person in front of you, and yet it's someone else. The, the personality is gone, um, and it's um, it's it's such a it's such a cruel thing. As a family, we went we went through a lot. I suppose we we struggled, but um, that was then, you know. What, what about you? My second husband, um, he had um, alcoholism. Wow. And I stayed with him 25 or more years, thinking I could make him better to help him, but you can't. 
tried so hard. And life got too unbearable for me to stay with him, so I had to leave him. Oh. Then he died, so I lost him twice. Oh, oh that's awful. Isn't it? I'd been on buses and had tears rolling down my face, you know. Been so sad. I did love him. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. You do you do get lonely sometimes. Mm. Anyway, that was then. Yeah, this it's, is now. It's onwards, isn't it? Here we are in the city of London. You're having a great time drinking champagne. Beautiful. And putting the world to rights. <laughs> You've had a good time. Like... I've had a good time. Yeah. Have you had a good time? I've had a good time. Yeah. Have I done all right? Oh, what? Like the whole day? The whole day. Um, what, in terms of me reviewing? Um... You? you want me to give you a review? Yeah, give like you a on the date the master. situation. How do you feel about it? I think you've done very, very well. Have I? Yeah. Brilliant. I'd give you a solid 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? It's good. It's very, very fun. She was gorgeous in general, yeah, yeah, very gorgeous girl. Um, spot on, my type, beautiful eyes. Now your turn. I'd give you a 10 out of 10 as well. You would? I would. That's so lucky. Cheers to, that. Cheers to 10 out of 10s. 10 out of 10s. 10 out of 10s. Cheers to that. He's a really nice person, and he's a proper gentleman, which is really attractive in a way. Isabel. Isabel. There's a place called like Ronnie Scott. Uh, it's a jazz bar. Is it? Yeah. Mm. You'd like it, it's cool. Would I? Yeah. We should go. No. Yeah. yeah. Want to go? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go? Yeah. Okay. Jazz it is. Jazz it is. Jazz. Do you think she fancied you? I don't know if she fancied me. I mean, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Do you know? If you know, I'd love to know. Shall we go? Yeah. I do think there's those people that want to be dating Brad. <laughs> um, but... Can I say? I got there first. Thank you, good night. Thank you, Fred. Take care. See you, bye-bye. See you later, bye-bye. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you all right? You're not bad, are you? I'm good, thank you. Yes. Would you like to see each other again? Of course. Well, I said that I would. Would you not? Yeah, I probably would. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. Did you say you would? I said I would. You said you would? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I would, yeah. OK. That's good then. I'd be really awkward yeah. if it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's freezing. Hello, dude. Do you know Ronnie Scott? This is Keegan. Hello. Six foot four, man mountain, and captain of rugby league team Batley Bulldogs. I love rugby. When you get a win, and you, you go in and you sing winning song, it's uh, that's a, it's a nice feeling. Hello, how are you? How's it going? All right. You okay? Nice to meet you. Do you want to leave your jacket for me? Yes, please. Have you been eating your greens? Uh, I try. <laughs> we're bulldogs, we're bastards, we do it doggy style. If you see a battle bulldog, then you better run a mile. We smoothers, we boozers, we've got the Midas touch. We shag too many women and we drink too fucking much, which has now been changed to we shag too many people. <laughs> <laughs> and how come you're single these days? Um, it's hard finding time to you wear rugby and stuff. It's, it's pretty intense, so it's... We, pl we played in London today, so... Did you win? No. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> You've got to win tonight, now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, hopefully. Are you pretty stereotypical for a rugby league player? Um, no. What sort of lady have you requested to meet? <laughs> Being gay. <laughs> I'm meeting a guy. Oh, guys, big problem. Sorry, my it's bad. It's all right. What sort of guy have you requested to meet? I don't know, really. I'm not too fussy. I'm new to it. This is actually my first time at a rodeo. <laughs> the day the story broke, it was a bit subtle, wasn't it? It just kind of 
explode and I was like, well, I got a phone call off Elton John, um, which was random. Hoping to introduce novice Keegan to the gay dating scene is online fitness guru, Paddy. How are you? Hello. Yeah, good, thank you. Good afternoon. What's your name, please? Paddy. Paddy, yeah. I mean, I probably take about 10 selfies a day. I update people when I'm making a sandwich. I update people when I'm, like, taking a piss. I update people when I'm putting the kettle on. But, you know, that's kind of information that you wouldn't have known otherwise. Do I need to know that, though? You don't need to know, but you don't need to know anything, really. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> I know. <Yeah. laughs> hey, mate. Right? How's, How's it going? going? Yeah, not matter. Keegan. He looked at him, you know, when he went, he went, oh. <laughs> I said, I know. <laughs> I, um, have you been nervous about this? Uh, yeah, a bit, yeah. For me, a real thing is broad shoulders. Rugby body is a plus, you know, that kind of muscled, masculine thing going on. You play rugby, but I can't remember what team. <laughs> I, I, I play for Battle Bulldogs. Yeah. You're taller than me, that, like, never happens. <laughs> I'm 6'4", so I'd be a bit weird if someone... Everything started. around you is, like, rescaling in my head because I'm not used to sitting across from someone bigger than me. <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, can I take you through to the... Yeah, sure. Just... Here we are, the toast with this. this. This is a treat. Thank and, you, Bernie. No, these are free because when you order two meals, they're the same. <laughs> Always a hustler, this one. <laughs> Thank you very much. You look great. Thank you. Credit. But I like to look after myself, and it's only for myself. But you see a lot of young people who look as if they've fallen out of bed. Some will take the children to school in their pyjamas. I know. <laughs> I know. I seriously had a great time. I thought she was lovely. And I hope she liked me as much as I liked her. I think, hope she, I think she did. Oh, just a small one then, was it? Well, it is to share, after all. Is that all there is? Tonight's date it was um, better than any I've had for a long, long time, yes. Have you thought what's missing in your life, basically? Meeting someone special, you know. Yeah. Like you. Wonderful, yeah. Really lovely. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Take my arm. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Not seen you since our umbrella days. No. <laughs> so, would you like to see each other again? Yes, I think so. Do well, you? That's nice, yes. I'd like to see you again, yes, Carol. I'd like to see you again. Do you know what again, I'd really though? like to do? What? I'd like to come along to your belly dancing class. Oh, goodness. And make a guest appearance. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. On the back of a chicken. <laughs> ah, yeah. Carol, I've had a lovely evening. How about you? Yeah, super. Little bit of spark there. Obviously. That's nice. Hmm. Been a long time since, you know, since the spark. One more cuddle. Yeah. Mm. Lovely to meet yeah, you. Yeah, you too, my darling. OK. Man on an ostrich meets belly dancer. <laughs> it's the future. <gasps> Lovely. Yes. How many women do you think you've been in love with? Salesman and infamous Essex boy, Gary, has experienced stardom on a smaller scale. Good evening. Shall I take your jacket? Uh, yep, love it. Cheers, thank you. If I go out, people will know who I am if I'm in Essex, no doubt about it. Looking the part? Yeah, thank you. I wouldn't say a local celebrity because there's a lot of local celebrities where I come from. Yeah, listen, I guess I am. I'll leave you with... Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for that. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Where have you come from? Uh, Essex. Home church in Essex, yeah. And what sort of person are you hoping to meet? Literally someone that's got a little bit about them, to be honest, and someone not from where I live, that's for certain. Right. 
Like, I'm a sucker for a nice smile, nice eyes, nice teeth. I will always be, be so. Someone that I can look at first thing in the morning and, OK, I'm not saying she could look exactly the same, but still have that feeling when she's all doled up, ready to go out. Won't be long. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Enter Natasha. One third of Atomic Kitten. Can I take your coat? Yes, please. With a string of number ones and several high profile romances to her name, she's looking for someone to make her whole again. Fantastic. <laughs> I could definitely write a good book about love. Definitely. I've learned an awful lot. I am a big romantic at heart. You know, I, I do love the f that f feeling of falling in love, maybe a little bit too much. There we go. Yeah. How are you? Thank you very much. Yeah, Hi. you're right. Nice to meet you. How are you? Mm -hmm. Good, Gary. You. What's your name? Natasha. Natasha. Nice I'll, to meet I'll you, recognize Gary. I recognise you. I recognise you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yourself? Yeah, my heart's going a bit. Is it really? <gasps> yeah, I was a bit like that earlier. You look lovely, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah. So do you. Smell yeah. nice. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what do you want to drink? Um, can I have a Cosmopolitan, please? It's all very bizarre. I know. Yeah, yeah. This is my first date in ten years. Are you joking? Jesus Christ, I've got to stand him up to you there then, Jesus. Well, you've got nothing to live up to, Well, really. no, that's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this could be, like, the best date you're ever going to have, really. You won't even know, yeah. Ten years. So I don't even know... I wouldn't even know where to start or what to do. And all my single friends are on um, these online dating apps, and that just scares the hell out of me. Um, so, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> so you've obviously with someone for a long while then? Well, I was I was married, was in a okay. relationship for eight years, yeah. and then we split up, and then I was in another relationship. Oh, OK. So... Well, you went straight from that relationship to the other one? It kind of just happens with me. Yeah. How long have you been single for? God, um... Properly single, about four years. What does that mean? Um, I've had a few, like, three-month relationships, if they're relationships. Um, but, yeah, like, I don't know, I spent, I spent a lot of years being with the wrong people, so... For that reason... I feel your pain! Yeah, come on. Yeah, well, I find that, definitely. Um, that I'm ready to meet someone, don't get me wrong. I don't want to be on our first life. Well, I hope so, as soon as we're here. Well, exactly, yeah, that's what we're here for. The asparagus is nice. <laughs> the asparagus is nice. I want to swap some. I forgot to say, I normally do that. No. Is that weird for you? Yeah, otherwise I would have ordered chicken. Oh, my God. OK, no, that's fine. You, if you want something, you order it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've been married, is that correct? Yeah, I, yeah. I was married, yeah. Do you mind talking about that? Um, no, not really. I was, I was married. I'm not now. Um, I suppose, like I say, looking back, I've been quite into myself for years. You know, I, I, I grew up on a, a council estate and it was... I didn't know any gay people growing up. There wasn't gay people on TV and stuff like that. And I'm not proud of being gay. I'm proud that I'm all right with being gay. Yeah. I suppose the life-changing moment was when I told my wife, because she was the first person I told. I went round to her house, I was terrified. We sat down, we, had, we were just talking about nothing, really. And, and I, didn't, I didn't even tell her, I didn't say to her, look, I'm gay. It was, I kind of dressed it up as um, a sort of fancy lad. So, uh, I just thought I'd tell you. I felt guilty about everything, about wasting her time. She'd have to try and get her around it and and be strong for kids as well, because obviously kids are upset because the dad's gay, kids are upset because the dad's gone. I'd, I suppose I'd, my life had changed and I felt guilty because I'd changed someone's life or didn't ask for it changing. See, I, well, I only came out last year, so yeah. I've not been in that world, you know, yeah, I yeah, still yeah. do exactly... I go where I used to go, I hang around with who I used to hang around. Yeah. I don't really go out much to gay bars and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, it all comes down to choice. Ultimately, people make culture, culture makes people. Being gay does not define how you live your life. No. But it kind of changes the opportunities and the experiences that you have. But is, that not, is that not up to an individual to take themselves out of a situation? 100%, yeah. OK. Do you like cuddling? 
Um, I'm passing to a cuddle. You're blaming like a massive cuddle monster. Or a spoon. Yeah. Okay. Spooning. I like spooning. Yeah, I think everyone likes spooning. Spooning leads to forking. They say. So that's what I've heard. You was in a, a group, wasn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I thought... Was it... Atomic, Atomic Kitten. and that's it. Yeah. Hole again. Yeah. If you remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I'm old enough to remember yeah. that. So that must have been an experience. Jesus. It was brilliant. Yeah. We went from, like, two-star hotels to five-star private jet. Yeah. Living the dream. Did we have men throwing themselves at us? Are you joking? We used to scare them away. As a kid, though, did you always want to do that? Did you, what did you want? Did you want to be famous? Did you want to sing? What was it? I either wanted to be a singer... Right. ..or a spy. What? How do you meet in between them two? I suppose I did miss out a chunk of, of reality, like going out with my friends, bumping into people in bars, going on dates, all that kind of stuff. That didn't happen for me. So I'm kind of doing now what I should have done 15 years ago. Do you have children? I do, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I had children when I was, I was 19. Obviously, you know, it wasn't planned, but I, I love my kids to death. They're my life, but it's... It, How many have you got? Two. Yeah, one's... My little boy's 20. Um, 20? Yeah, I say, I, say, I say little boy. I say, wow. I know, How it's old bizarre. are you? 40, I am. 40. You're looking good. Yeah, thanks, babe. I appreciate that, yeah. <laughs> I kind of spent most of my 20s being what I needed to be rather than what I wanted to be. Um, hence why I'm probably still about town now and trying to live the life of a 20 year old, but for my kids, they're my life. My little girl's like, she texts me every day. Um, I'm actually starting to bump into her when I'm out now, which is not ideal. <laughs> Our actual text to me today was, I hope it goes well, well tonight, Dad. I hope she's not a munter. That, would, <laughs> that, were, that were her exact words. So I've got four. Have you got four? Yeah. Wow. I've been busy. <laughs> yeah, you have been busy. Jesus Christ. But have you got a good relationship with, with their dad or...? Yeah. Yeah? My kids, I've got... My, my four kids have different dads. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, OK. Which... Can be eventful. How's it going? Um, he's the most beautiful effing thing I've ever seen. He is fit, isn't he? Yeah, pretty much. We're all drawling, so I can only imagine what you're doing. Well, I walked in and I was like, I literally know who that is. So I was like, really? I felt stitched up in like the best kind of way. I feel like I'm really red. Am I really red? You're not red. I promise you're not red. Good, OK. No, you're not. You seem pretty calm, though. You seem relaxed. I am an inner turmoil person rather than outwardly, like, freaking out. Yeah. I feel like, you know, so many people naturally form bonds and stuff at school and they date and they kind of get a natural social interaction with the opposite sex. When you're gay or lesbian and you're not out, you kind of miss out on that. You just kind of observe and you're like, you kind of take notes on like how to behave. Do you have Irish in you? No, no, I know I'll follow. Do you want some? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm called Paddy, how can I resist? I am quarter iron. I feel like my profile gives off the impression that I love myself. Okay. But unless it's from the same two angles, I can't take a photo. Right. <laughs> I'm not as bad now, but I did tweet during sex once. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> I'm always hungry and always hot. Really? Are you the same? You're clearly often hungry. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
No, I think my body regulates temperature quite well. <laughs> You're such a prick. <laughs> So you live in Liverpool now, then? No, I live in Cheshire, darling. Cheshire, OK. Cheshire. Yeah, sorry, it's a little bit different there. Yeah. I still live with my ex. Oh, do you really? That's interesting. <laughs> so is your, is your ex in the public eye? Yeah. He was in the, the band five. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, the blonde guy. Which is it? Yeah. Okay. How's that working out for you? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. We share we share food in the fridge. We don't share a bed. I suppose it will get weirder if we start dating, I suppose. Like officially dating. After Stay out those nights. <laughs> Are you okay though? Did you get on all right? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Good days, bad days. Yeah. Of course. It's a strange dynamic. People might judge me from what they see and read in the press, but I mean, I've literally had four relationships my whole life. I've tried so hard to make things as easy for the kids. It might not have worked for me, but I make it work for my children. Listen, people, I get it all the time. I mean, obviously, I've not got... Obviously, people judging me like they do you, but... I'm Everyone not... judges, though, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, massively. It's, it's easy to judge. I stopped caring the day my elder son said to me, Mum, why do, you, why do you get so upset? We love you. We know it's all crap. And he told me that over dinner. I feel like I'm going to cry just thinking about it because, you know, that's a kid. And I suppose you just need that reassurance every now and then. That was really nice. <laughs> oh, thank you. No worries. Oh, what's going to happen now? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> nice, thank you. Quite sexual. <laughs> <laughs> Do, you know what? Do you know what? I didn't want to say anything, but I was having a little moment then. Yeah. Like <laughs> we should have ordered something with pineapple in it. You should not. Ordered something with pineapple in it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pineapple. <laughs> Why? Sorry, but it tastes like wood. <laughs> Actual wood. You know what it does, don't you? Yeah, I know what it does. <laughs> I recognise him, and I think he's fair. So I was like, this is a problem, because now I'm going to not be able to act like I normally would. <laughs> if there was a ratio of who did the most talking, it would probably be, like, me 70, him 30. Cheers. <laughs> I'll take the sweets. I'm only kidding. Did that come across? <laughs> what a cringe. Oh, shit. I nearly hit that light, then. Well, it's more that you're, like, six foot nine. How was date, Keegan? Um, I thought I was a good talker, but I'm just in lower leagues compared to some people, I think. <laughs> uh, it's like a quilt. It's like a big one, a big coat. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> hey. Cheers, mate. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. It's been a pleasure. Take care. Good night. Take care, guys. Are the chairs always this close together? Are you uncomfortable? I'm okay. Okay. I, I'm just very aware that your legs next to mine. <laughs> Like see each other again. Um, I, th I, d I don't think so for me. Okay. Um, it was all right. You know, I got on. He was a nice lad. Yeah. Um, I kind of agree. I think there was magic missing. He's fit though. 
thanks. It's okay. <laughs> food is good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know my food was good. I wouldn't know what it was. Just like... You know what my cheesecake was like? Yeah, it was beautiful. Um... I, it's fair, I only give you the cheesecake to like, shut you up for two minutes. <laughs> Boom! Oh my god, that is harsh. I'm joking. I mean, You're not. You're literally not. You knew that cheesecake would shut me up. It did, did though. It was good cheesecake. We'll keep it coming. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say to that. That's just rude. Oh, come on. <laughs> Take care, mate. Hi, right, buddy. It wasn't exactly anything that we didn't get on. It was more that we were in different places in our lives. Win some, lose some. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't even, like, I don't care. It is what it is, you know? Thank you very much. What's the damage, as my dad would say? <laughs> oh, we've got a sweet. Are we going halves? Don't be stupid. Are you sure? Yes, I'm 100% positive. Nothing worse. Thank you. Even if I didn't like her, I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> I'd be nice to you, I would. Beautiful eyes, like, ridiculous eyes. And I'm a bit of a sucker for eyes, so, yeah. Yeah, I did fancy, yeah, I did. Sometimes I feel like, oh, it's just me against the world because I'm in the public eye and the press might want to judge me and whatnot, but I don't feel like he did. He just took me for face value and, and that was a nice feeling. Let's do it. It's the, we are literally last chance to leave, aren't we? Hiya. Hello. <laughs> you all right? You good, you? Yeah, good. Would you like to see each other again? I'll go first. Yes, I would. Yeah. Yeah. Defo. Oh, defo. That's good. Defo. That's good. That'd be really nice. Yeah. I'm a defo too. <laughs> right, cheers. Well. Yeah, cheers. Anyway, here's cheers, your buddy. good date. Yeah, lovely date. It went well. Really, really nice date. I felt under pressure when you said it was your first date in 10 years. I was like, shit. She's a lovely girl, very down to earth, very easy to have preconception about summer, but she's lovely. Oh, that's yeah. really nice. That's really nice. So, what are your plans? When? Now. Now? We're on a date, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can never tell anything until you have a kiss, definitely not. Kiss is the holy grail, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I weren't going to kiss you. No, it's not going to happen. No. No. Do you want to go for a drink? Do you want to go for a drink? Yeah, I do want to go for a drink. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Let's just have a little kiss on TV. What's, what's the arm in it? You've got to snob me. Don't open your mouth, because I'll just turn away. I won't have that on TV. Don't open your mouth. <laughs> Take care. Bye. There you go. Oh, How hard was that? Done. Happy days. <laughs>